And out comes Roy Draw of Israel. Number one in the world at the moment. And his opponent from Croatia is the world number two at the moment, and it is Leo Sulik, who is 18 years of age. Sulik's had some big wins. 7-1-7-3-6. Love, or 6-0. So he's not really been troubled at all in his matches through to the gold medal match. Roy Draw's closest was against the Brazilian in the 1-8 eliminations, Mateus Gomez. Beat him 6-4. Since then, he's gone well, beating Oscar Grovich of Slovenia, 6-2. Javier Morita, we just saw in the bronze, 7-3 in the semi-finals. So it should be a good match, this one. Yeah, Roy Draw there has uh, coach Richard Priestman with him. Richard Priestman recently left Great Britain and went and joined the Israel team. And he's had a huge impact already in, in less than six, 12 months. Absolutely incredible. Wow, that's interesting. Sulik, though, has had plenty of international experience, been to World Cups, outdoor European Championships. Let's see how he goes here as the Israeli goes first. Always a great way to start, isn't it? Getting a 10. It's like Sulik has picked the, the thick arrows for this match, too. John? Uh, yeah, it's always a huge debate, particularly in the in compound. It's a no-brainer. Everyone shoots the fat arrows, but in recurve, a lot of them still like to shoot indoors and outdoors at the same time, so they stick with the carbon arrows, like Roy Dorr. So other people like to go for the big, fat aluminium indoor arrows. They think they can catch line cutters, but they can be uh, trickier to control and a little less forgiving in shots as well, so it's real. It's a great debate in archery. It's been discussed around many a table and a, <laughs> over a meal. Well, I don't think, based on what with the evidence of that set, I don't doubt what the right answer is. 30 plays 26. If you shoot a 10, you shoot a 10. doesn't matter how fat or thin your arrow is. That's the challenge for Sulik, getting them in the 10 zone because of... Roy Draw continues to score maximum. It's going to be tough for him to yeah. Yeah. keep pace Mr. with the Israeli, Mello. right? Very confident in his athlete. I like that. Leo Sulix wins. Jeremy Bayon of France. Alexander Sene of France. Yannis Bouda of France. So he's uh, enjoyed playing. French archers, and now he's up against an Israeli. And he's down by two set points to nil. With draw on fire in that first set. First 10 of the match for Sulik. Same hole. Impressive. Well, the facial expression said everything there from Sulik. First time he's missed the 10. Ten. 
His draw needs a 10 now to take a two set, another two set points. And he has. That's a clutch arrow there from the Israeli, John. Yeah, that was superb then. He knew what he needed. Didn't want any doubts. And he saw that set off. Takes a 4 0 lead. That's a really strong position. At the moment, Sulik is shooting loose, way too loose. And he has to shoot a 30 next end. That's the only way he's going to stop this. You see that score, that nine for draw. That's the only time he's missed the 10 out of his six arrows. Been absolutely yep. sensational so far. Yep. The judge is having a good look at Sulik's uh, one arrow, though. So interesting. He's got a lot of work to do, being four set points to mill down. That second arrow cost him, though, didn't it? That eight. At this level, now four set. Yeah. Sorry, John. At this level, at this level, you cannot shoot an eight and expect to get anything. Yeah, it's brutal. Can draw put this to bed six nil and make real easy work of his goal, or can Sulik? Shoot three real strong shots and keep the match going. Oh, so looks been in great form up to this final. He's going to need to recall some of that right now, and he does. Starts off with a 10. It's his third 10 in his last four arrows. Draw woke up on the right side of the bed this morning. <laughs> and Masula can't lose the set. <laughs> I think he might have just missed that one. So Sula can win the one. set with it. Yeah, with another 10 here. Nine. And he's just missed it. Well, draw now. Can square the set. Nine. First, and he has. Now, that second, that arrow at the top there. Has that grabbed the line? If it has, he's won the match. First look. I reckon he just missed it, but we'll see in just a moment. The judge just called it straight, so it must be really obvious. She didn't even go in and, and look at it long. It's been up. Oh, she's really examining that one from Sulik. And she's called that one down, Sulik's. Let's have a look at that judge at the target end. Oh, he's won it. He's won it. Roy Draw's got it. Three tens, a fantastic performance. Two perfect sets, a 29 out of 30. He shot nine arrows in the match and eight were tens. Doesn't get much better than that for any archer on the shooting line and there is your winner Roy Draw of Israel